Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. So we're taking a little bit of a diversion from talking about catalogues to talking about the brand new features in Lightroom 7.4. Hi folks, Lightroom 7.4 are out and there are a few interesting new things in it, uh, including uh, HIEC support, which is Apple's kind of new JPEG format. But there are a few other things that are really obvious in the actual thing itself. So let us jump in and have a look at them directly. Okay, the very first thing is in, in folders with folder search. Folder search is now a little bit more optimized and faster. Now obviously I've only got a small amount of folders here, but we can see that it's not particularly churning. But what's going on here is if we jump out, actually if I command click on the top here and jump to the catalog, which can be done on Mac, not on PC, we can see that we have this master helper.lr data. So it's storing uh, basically information about the folders in here to make folder search faster. Okay, so folder search is faster. Speaking of folders as well, we have this option here that we can add a color label. So we could label that one yellow, for example, here. So you can see that you got a yellow one. It's just to help organize particular types of jobs. Um, so that would be really, really handy for, let's say if you have landscapes or whatever, that you just want to very quickly know which ones are which. So that's handy for that. You can now manage your pre-files, uh, presets and profiles. So let me just, say, just jump out to my three stars that I did the last time and grab this one here. So if I go D for develop, we can now come in here and at the top of presets, we can now go manage presets. So now we can turn on and off these groups of here. So these are the classic ones that can be turned off. So these are the, those are the default ones that people like to be able to turn off. So I click save and they are now hidden. Okay, you can right click and uh, on the folder, hang on a second, cancel. Right click on the folder and you can go reset hidden presets. All right, so that can be done very quickly from there. You can also go over to the basic panel here to our profiles. So we click on the profile browser then come down to any group and right click on the group. And from that you can go manage profiles. So you can turn it off any of these set. So I could get rid of the modern and vintage, for example, there, say save. And if we look down at the bottom here, we can see that modern and vintage are now gone. Okay. Again, to bring them back, we can go reset hidden profiles and that will bring those ones back. So pretty straightforward. Okay, so secretly in the background, I've also brought in some more folders. And um, so go back out to the grid here and go to job six, which has some HDR shots in it. So I'm gonna bring these up. I'm gonna bring up the HDR menu. Right, let's do a quick little HDR. And we can see that we've got this new option here called create stack. Okay, so when we actually create the HDR, it will stack the images together and put the HDR at the top of the stack. So that means that uh, it allows us to basically have all of our images automatically go underneath. Same is true for panoramas as well, um, but I'm just showing it to you with HDR. So we can see here it's stacked and we've got the little four here to show it. So press S to open the stack and show what's in the stack. So it automatically puts the uh, DNG at the top of the stack, which is great for organization purposes. So just a note on that HIEC and HEVC, um, so it's image and video, that is only supported on uh, iOS, or not on I iOS, but Mac OS, uh, High Sierra, so it won't be supported below that. So folks, as well as that, there is stuff like camera support and bug fixes. The, I'm not gonna just rhyme off all the bug fixes, they're there in the actual official blog. Um, but it's stuff like, there is translation errors with keyboard shortcuts, so you couldn't go left and right in a couple of different languages. Uh, on Mac OS, you couldn't compress uh, catalogs that were greater than four gigabytes, which mine of course is. Well, not this one, but the, my, my general one. Um, stuff like those issues with settings being stored and with the on and off position being stored which is obviously a pain for presets and things like that uh, on iphone on windows it would play the orientation on video the wrong way around so there's a bunch of stuff like that has been fixed folks if this video interested you please do subscribe to the channel right give it a like and of course hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when new videos come online folks thank you for taking time to watch this video and i will see you in the next one